The current year is 2023, and we're quickly approaching 2,000 years since Jesus walked on the earth. According to the New Testament record, Jesus was resurrected from the dead and was taken up into heaven to be seated at God's right hand. Before leaving, however, he had made promises to return. At first, Jesus' disciples didn't understand that he would come a first time, go away, and return later. Even after his resurrection, they had to be reminded of this fact. Immediately before he ascended into heaven, Jesus' disciples had asked him, Will you now restore the kingdom to Israel? His response to them was vague and obscure. It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority. See Acts 1 6 through 11. As they stood looking up into heaven following Jesus' exit from the earth, angels stood nearby and reminded them that Jesus would return and would come back in the same way as they saw him go into heaven. Surely they would have never expected thousands of years to pass before he returned. The time of Christ's return has always been a secret, hidden even from Jesus himself. He had told his disciples, but of that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. After stating this, Jesus went on to warn them by saying, Take heed, watch and pray, for you do not know when the time is. Mark 13, 32 through 33. While many have attempted to predict Jesus' return, all such attempts have resulted in failure. It seems strange that any who's read Jesus' words would think they would somehow be able to do what Jesus said was impossible. Yet, for fame, fortune, an increase in followers, or simply due to being deceived and deluded, many have tried. For many, the apparent delay of Christ's return has caused a crisis of faith. Doubt grows as to whether the New Testament's testimony is true in the first place, and thoughts that it may simply be an entertaining story arise. Others have come to believe the Bible's claims were fabricated by men who wanted to influence and control the masses. But for those of us who hold on to the hope and expectation of Jesus' return, the suspense of waiting is often intense. Even during the lifetimes of the apostles, the signs were apparent that the delay of Jesus' return would cause great difficulty for many. Peter, for example, wrote, Knowing this first, that scoffers will come in the last days, walking according to their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. 2 Peter 3, 3 through 4 These scoffers would be people whose goal is to fulfill their own lusts and desires. Such people would have great difficulty mustering the faith in themselves to believe in Jesus' promise to return. More pointedly, they would also certainly not want to have their lives as they are interrupted. The old saying, while the cat's away, the mice shall play, certainly applies. The letter of Jude in the New Testament has this to say about Christ's return. Behold, the Lord comes with ten thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment on all, to convict all who are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have committed in an ungodly way, and of all the harsh things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Jude one fourteen through 15 It's no wonder, then, why there are many who absolutely do not want to believe Jesus will return. For those of you who are holding on to your faith despite criticism, despite being mocked for believing in a fairy tale, and despite the difficulty involved in maintaining a godly life in obedience to Christ, the New Testament provides a word of encouragement. The Apostle Paul wrote, If we endure, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. 2 Timothy 2.12 For those who simply refuse to believe, there is a word of warning. Behold, he is coming with clouds, and every eye will see him, even they who pierced him, and all the tribes of the earth will mourn because of him. Revelation 1.7 It will be a day of wonderfully fulfilled hope for some, but a day of dread for others. Finally, hear Jesus' own words as penned by the Apostle John. And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give everyone according to his work. Revelation 22.12 Thanks for watching. Please see the description for more Bible passages about this topic if you wish to study further.